and I'm gonna have music on my um, iPod, uh, my ears, and hopefully it will stay this time. Nope. Nope, you can, never mind. So I'm just gonna march in place, and let me change this to be, so you can see my feet. There we go. Ready, and march it out. I'm gonna step out to the right, and march. And here's three, four, and five, six, seven. Hold it here and reach. And two, and three. I'm going forward to see if that helps. Yeah. And then bring it across and reach. And two, three. Push against water and open. And two, three, four, leg curl, bring it up. And two, and three, four more, five, six, seven, toes back and back. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, step touch, and two. We're gonna move it forward, ready with that left lead, one, two, three, bring it back, one, two, three, do it again, one, two, three, bring it back. We're gonna change it to escape, one, two, three, bring it back, one, two, three, do it again, one, two, three, bring it back. Stay with the march, left lead, grapevine, go. To the left and bring it back. To the left and bring it back. Bring it to the left, bring it back one more time. And march it right. I'm gonna move it closer, guys. Step it out to the left. Three, and four more, five, six, seven, hold it here and reach. Two, three, four more. Seven, add the pivot and reach. Two, three, Push against water and open. Two, three. Leg curl, bring it up. Two, three, four more. Warming up those joints. Getting everything ready for the workout. Toes back and one, two, three, four more, five. Six, seven, step touch. Get ready. Moving it forward. Right lead, go, and one. And bring it back. Step touch. Again, forward. One, two, three, bring it back. Add the skate. Bring it back. One more time, forward. Bring it back. And step touch. We're gonna go to grapevine. Moving to the right, here we go. And grapevine. And bring it back. Two. Bring it back. Three. Bring it back. Four. And Heel dips. Good job. Three. Keep that left foot out there. Lift the ribs. Hinge forward and feel that stretch. And I have a feeling 
I have this in the wrong position, and that's why you're not seeing me enough. Is that better? Down and up. Two, three, tap it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, side to side. And five, six, seven, lift the leg, bring the heel back, bring that arm across, shoulder away from the ear. Breathe. And release, roll it up, knee is heavy, arm comes behind. Stretching out that back thigh, stretching out that shoulder. And release, knee down and up, and swing those arms. And three, four, five, six, seven. Shift your weight back, lift up those heels. Nice hamstring stretch, and bring that toe down and up. Tap it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, side to side. And five, six, seven, lift that leg and bring it back. Feel that calf stretch and bring the arm across, shoulders away from the ear. And it's a beautiful day to go, guys today, right? You haven't gotten out for a walk? Get out there, feeling up for it. Release, roll and tuck, knee is heavy. Arm behind. Feel that stretch in that shoulder and that back thigh. And release. Knee's going to come down and up. And we open chest. And two. And three. Getting everything ready. Five. Six. Seven. And bring it together. And then heel digs. We're here. Oh, yeah, I can see me. That was better, huh? That was a good adjustment there. How we doing? I'm starting low impact. You want to add a jump? You can bring those heels forward. Maybe Connie's jumping. Maybe Sue's jumping. Maybe Candace. Maybe Sid. And six, seven. Inside foot, bring it up. Now you're listening to your knees. You're listening to your hip. You're listening to your back. And five, six, seven. And bring it behind, opposite hand to foot. And use those arms, right? That helps get that heart rate up. And five, six, seven. Right foot forward, or left foot forward, right foot back. And three, four. Five, six, seven. All right, get ready. Lift those knees up, up. Height that's right for you, right? So listen to your body. Four, five, six, seven. Let's do two on the right, two on the left. Maybe moving with it. Go, Sue. Go, Connie. One more each side right here. Woo-hoo. And now rotate. Once again, height that's right for you. Those elbows don't have to touch, right? But if you can, do it. Seven, eight, two on the left, one, two, switch. One, two, switch. Two more each side. Get ready. Rockets, countdown, knee, toe, seven. Height that's right for you. Four more. Three, two. Now start at that top with those heel digs and add the jump if you want it. And five, six, seven, heels forward. Remember, if you're on a carpeted surface, you might need to lift those feet a little bit more, right? And five, six, seven. Inside foot, bring it up. Woohoo! 
and three. I think I hear you hooting back. Five, six, seven. Bring it behind. Arms and hands in five. Come on. Go. Woo. And five. I think I hear Lee moaning. Seven. And left forward. Right back. And four. Five. Six. Seven. Lift those knees. Up. Up. Four more. Seven. Two on the right. Two on the left. Move it if you want. And it's left. And it's right. Left. One more each side. Rotation, bring it forward. Woo! Five, six, seven, bring it back. Five, six, two on the left. And right. Keep it going. Two more each side, then we get our countdown. Eight rockets. Eight. Seven, let me hear you. Come on, Jerry. Four more. He's going to go quattro. <laughs> Trace. Yes. And heel digs left. All right, excuse me. And then maybe kicks. Woo! I'm going back low impact. You don't have to. And kick it forward. Move it forward. Five, six, seven, bring it back. And five, six, inside foot this time, left first, right? Make that brain work. Give me four more. And three, two, and bring it behind. Opposite hand to foot, use those arms. Come on, get that heart rate raised. Six, seven, get ready, put it to, the two together, left forward this time, right back. Four more, four, three, two, lift those knees and up. Two, three, two on the left, two on the right. If you want to move, you can, I'm staying stationary this time. Two more. Last one on right, left, and let's grab and crunch. Grab and pull. Woo! Four more. Four, three, two, and two on the right, and left, and right, and left. We got two more each side, and then we've got up, over, up, down. We get tricky with it. Up, over, up, down. Use those arms too, right? Last one. Back to kicks. I'm adding the jump. You don't have to. And four, five, six, Seven, now we're either going to kick it forward or circle those legs forward if you feel like it. Five, six, seven, eight, bring it back, and it's one, <laughs> two, three, four, and inside foot, bring it up. Last time, I promise. Seven. Bring it behind, it's still that left lead, right? And four, five, six, seven, eight, and put it together. Left, right. Woo! Four more. And seven. Lift those knees. Woo! Four more. Two on the right. Two on the left. Move 
open if you want. And back. And it's right. Left. One more time, right. One more time, left. Crunch it forward, move it forward. Yo! Five, six, seven, bring it back. Five, six, two on the right, two on the left. Water's coming, guys. Two more each side, we get tricky with it. Woo! Here we go. Up, over, up, down, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Our first water break. Oh, and I don't know where my water is. <laughs> okay. Good job, guys. March it out when you've gotten that your sip of water. And we're gonna, we did the warm up right. We did that step touch. So we're gonna do that today. And we're gonna start stationary. We're gonna be in our left lead. Here we go. It's one and two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and four to the right. Excuse me, <laughs> left and back. Do it again in one, two, three. Bring it back in one, two. Adding that squat if you want it. And back. Shuffle if you want it. Bring it back. Now come forward with that step touch and back and forward. It's one, two, three, bring it back. One, two, skate it. One, two, three, bring it back. One more time. Bring it back and march it right. Step touch, stationary, ready, go, and it's one, and two, three, and we're going four to the left, and it's one, two, three, bring it back, one, two, three, add the squat, bring it back, and shuffle if you want, bring it back, one more time. Bring it back, forward with the left lead, step touch. Bring it back. Do it again. Bring it back. Skate it. One, two, three, bring it back. Do that one more time, we'll put it together. Bring it back. All right, move it to your left, four, Three, two, bring it back. Four, three, forward with the left lead. Bring it back. Now to your left, all right. Bring it back. Right lead forward. Bring it back. Again, to the left. Bring it back. Maybe skate it forward. Bring it back to your right. Bring it back. Forward, right lead. Bring it back. We're making a box to the left. Forward, step touch to the right. And bring it back. Now we're going to the right. And forward, to the left, one, two, three, bring it back, and forward, bring it back, and to the right, and forward, and to the left, and bring it back, one more time. Right, or left, and forward. To the right, 
bring it back to the left or right <laughs> and forward. Oh, again, left and bring it back. Show me your twist. Woo! Five, six, left hip. One, two, three, bring it back. Do it again. Bring it back. Charleston, it's eight of them. I'm leading with that right lead. Kick, lunge with the opposite. Give me four more. Four, three, two, four hips to the left. Bring it back. Now give me four, Charleston. It's right lead, left. Two more. Four hips, here we go. Four, three, two, bring it back. Four, three, kicks again for Charleston last time. Four, three, two, four hips to the left. Bring it on back and show me your twist. Woo! Five, six, seven, and now it's right hip to the right and now back. Do it again. Bring it back, and we're gonna go into our Charleston eight times. Now it's with the left lead. Kick lunge, or kick tap. Four, five, six, seven. And go to your right. Bring it back. Four, Charleston. Kick, lunge, tap. Three, four hips, one, two, three, bring it back. Do again, four Charleston, four. Last time, three, two, four hips, one, two, three, bring it back. And show me your twist, woo! And five, six, seven, march it right. We are march it left, we've got Mamba. Woo! Here we go. Forward step, back step, forward step, back step. And if you want to add on, it's a little stomp, lift the knee. Two more. Bring it across body. We cross it, cha-cha-cha, cross it, cha-cha-cha. It's left, it's right. We're facing side wall, other side wall. And it's that little cha-cha in between. Left. Right, here's six. We're gonna change to forward and back, right? Last one, bring that left foot towards me and right foot to back wall. So forward, wall behind you. Forward, wall behind you. And just four more, how about that? And six. And seven. There's eight. And march it. Woo! Right lead. Oh, I think I heard you whistle back. I love it. Ready? Here we go. Forward step, back step, mamba. And maybe stomp, knee. And bring it across the body. Cross. Cha cha cha, cross, cha cha cha, right and left. One side wall, other side wall. We got four more before we change walls, right? We're gonna go forward and back. Two more. Seven and eight. All right, so come forward with the right foot and then back wall with the left. Forward, cha-cha-cha, back, cha-cha-cha, me, and back wall. Just four more, woo! Last one. And another 10 minutes have passed by, get some water. Great job. We're gonna go to our grapevine. 
our little grapevine series that we do. So we need to be to the far side. I may disappear a little bit. I'll get back as far as I can and over as much to the right side because we're going to uh, initiate by going to the left with single grapevine. Here we go. Four. And bring it back. And three. And bring it back. And two. And bring it back. And one. Now we're going to do two to the left, right? Bring the feet together and go again. Feet together. Go again. Feet together. As you can bring those feet together, you want to add, start adding that hop. And hop it. Bring it back. One more like that. And then get ready to add that pivot turn. And it's great by pivot, back wall. And great by pivot, forward. I'm pivoting on that left foot, back wall. And pivot on that left foot, back forward. Two more times. Back wall. And forward. Last time. And back wall. And march it on the right. I'm going to move as far as I can <laughs> over to this side of, this, of the uh, left side because we're going to move to the right. Ready? Go. Great. Find four singles. And three. Two. And one. All right, double it up. I might move, leave your screen. I'll be waving. <laughs> Two to the right, feet together. And back. And again, maybe adding that hop. One more like that with the hop, right? And back. Add the pivot turn. So it's great by pivot back wall, great by. Great by pivot forward. Pivot on that right foot back wall. And right foot back forward. Two more. Back wall. Back forward. Last time. Back wall. And forward. And march it out. How about that twist, guys? Let's go. To toe heel, I'm going to move forward a little bit. Toe heel with the left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and switch. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now, four on the left and right. Do that again. And switch. Now go to two on the left and two on the right. Do it again. Singles for four, three, two. Bring it forward for four, four, three, two. Bring it back for eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. March it with the left. Knees forward, kicks back. Ready, go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kick it back in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Skate it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring it back. Five, six. Step touch. Five, six, seven, bring it back. And one, two, three, four, five, six. March it left. Knees forward. Kicks back. Ready, go. And it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Move it back. Kicks. Woo! -hoo. Five, six, seven, step touch. Five, six, seven, bring it back. Good, six, skate it. Almost there. Five, six, seven, bring it back. Five, 
six. Toe heel, give me eight, moving forward. Four, three, two, and four back. Four, three, two, and awesome job, guys. Awesome job. Two minute cool down after a swig of water. And how about, we haven't done this cool down. I don't have a lot of space, but we'll try it. Four to the left with the left hip, right? One, two, three. Bring it back. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's do it again. And back. We're going to do that two more times to the left. Bring it back. One more time. Bring it back. All right, so it's baby grapevine. Small movements with the legs. We got two more. Heel dips, side to side. Give me four, two. Heels forward, four, three, two, hips to the left, one, two, three, bring it back. Do it again, your heart rate should be coming down, breathing controlled, two more times, one, two, three, bring it back, one more time. Bring it back. And then that baby grapevine again, right? Small movements. Two more. Last time. Heel dips, side to side. Woo! Forward. And let's keep that left foot forward. Lift the ribs, hinge, and feel that stretch in your hamstring. And then think about bringing the toes towards your shin, adding that gentle resistance, if you haven't done that already. And if it's only if it's available to you, right? Release and push that foot into the floor and notice that stretch for that shin area. And then we'll go ahead, lift that left knee, bring that left heel back for that calf stretch. We'll bring the left arm across, shoulder down the back, and breathe. Let's release, roll up on the ball of the foot, tuck the pelvis, let the knee be heavy, and we'll bring the arm behind. Stretching out that shoulder cavity, stretching out that quad. And then go ahead, release the arm, release the tuck a little bit, let the knee come down maybe a little more. Let's roll the shoulders forward, maybe add those arms. And then we'll bring our left foot to meet our right and bring our left heel forward, lift the ribs, hinge forward. Get the stretch on this side. And then bring that foot or excuse me, the toe towards the shin, adding resistance if you need it. And then release, push the foot into your mat. And then think of lifting that knee and bring your heel back for your calf stretch and bring the arm across. Find that breath. And release. Roll up on the ball of the foot, tuck the pelvis, let the knee be heavy, and arm comes behind. Find that breath. And release. Release that tuck a little bit, let the knee go a little heavier, and roll those shoulders back, adding the arms if that feels good. And then let's go ahead, bring our right to meet our left, and we'll go to our quad stretch. So this takes balance. If you need to hold on to a wall, feel free to do so. We'll put our weight into our right leg and bring the left heel to glute, knees together, 
quads pressing back, tuck your cheek under. Nice balance, everybody. And then let's release and do the same on the other side. Weight on the left, right heel to butt, knees together. And bringing those knees together just protects our knees. Find that breath. Good job. And then let's lower that foot down. And we'll go ahead and do that balance. Uh, uh, it's balance with strength. And uh, this is Lee's favorite. We'll do the star crunches. Um, we'll have, how about if we have the weight on the right leg, left toe out, we'll create that star positioning, right? Bring everything center. Here we go. So elbows and knee, and we crunch it. Hence, star crunch, right? Pull that belly button in. Strong exhale as you bring it in. Here's six and seven. Give me eight more. Building bone density on that right leg right now. Five, six, seven, and eight. Nice job. We'll put the weight on our left, right toe out. There's our star position. Ready, set, pull it in. Strong exhale. And three, four, five, six, Seven, give me eight more, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, we'll go back to the other star crunch that we do. Weight back on the right leg, left toe out. So remember we swing that hip out, this elbow is going to come down as this leg lifts. Keep the leg straight. It will make it more intense for that oblique, okay? Ready? And pull it. And lift it. Now, if you're not sure it's working, put your hand on that waist. Feel it contract. Feel how you're working that glute, right? An abductor. We call that the triple whammy, huh? Bone density. So the quadruple whammy. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, woo, 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 woo. other side. And we start feeling our arms by the end, right? Okay, wait on to the uh, <laughs> left toe. Sorry, it takes me a while. Swing the hips out. When we get back to the gym, I'm going to be all confused, right? Here we go. Elbow down, leg up. Maybe not. Hopefully. You guys will help me, right? Four, I sure do miss you guys. Five, six, seven, give me eight more, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, four, three, two, and excellent job, excellent job. We're gonna go to our strength portion now. We're gonna use the tubing today. I did use weights last time that got put on YouTube. By the way, if you didn't know, it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. And if you need help um, finding that, let me know. I've been emailing you guys. Let me know and I'll, I'll help you through it. But you can get it through the website, you get it from the app, um, and you can get it from Facebook if you're on Facebook. All right, so I'm gonna grab my tubing. Grab some more of you guys if you need it. And you might um, have noticed uh, the last couple of times I've eliminated doing chest and back. The reason is our class is normally an hour and 10 minutes, if you remember, and this is an hour. So I want to get those abs in because that's really important. So feel free to do the chest and back on your own. Um, but we're going to do that tough one where we... We're going to do the shoulders, and by the way, if you don't have that lighter spring that or lighter uh, uh, tubing that you need, feel free to sit down on your tubing right and do the shoulder press like we've done in the past. Otherwise, I'm going to see how it's longer on my left side, make that tubing longer, step out with the right, and I anchor my handle um, on that right leg. Your right left palm is facing forward. And let's do our shoulder presses. 
And what's so great about this is we are getting our waste again. So we won't have to worry about adding that in to our ab work. And if I keep talking, you don't know how many we're doing, and maybe it'll go faster, maybe not. We're halfway, guys. Is that belly button pulled in tight? Of course it is, right? So we got just eight more on this side. Eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and switch sides. Okie dokie. Okay, so make it longer on the opposite side, on your right side. I'm gonna step out with the left foot. I'm anchoring the handle on my left thigh. Here we go. Straighten that arm. So if you're having difficulty straightening the arm, give yourself more tubing, okay? Strong exhale as you press up, belly button pulled in. Notice I'm straightening and bending the leg. So that works the leg a little bit too, right? All good. And we are halfway. How about that? And here's six, seven. Give me eight more. And eight, and seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. All right. So we're going to go to our, um, oh, let's stretch it out. Bring the hand behind. Sorry, I get carried away. Hand opposite shoulder, right? And gentle pressure. And switch. All right, so that, that works a good portion of the shoulder, but this one works the front shoulder really well. It's that upright row, right? Oh, actually, let's do our lateral raise. So we find the center of the tubing. I'm holding my right handle first. This is my, my stronger side. And I'm going to lift, and I'm gonna say, hmm, is that too heavy? Do I need to take like an inch step away maybe? and then lift and lower. And then make sure that your waist isn't moving on this. It's nice and strong. Strong exhale as we lift, right? Try not to shrug the shoulders and belly button in. And I am counting, we've got just eight more. Usually just two sets of eight of this is all we need. Good. And last four right here. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, so now the handle's going into the left. I'm going to test the water. That feels pretty good. Ready, and lift. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, give me eight more, and eight, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Let's stretch it out by bringing it across body. We're done with our shoulders. We're going to move on to triceps. So last week we used our weights and we were able to get a little variety, right? Doing our kickbacks and our overhead press. Great thing about the tubing, you're tight for time, man. This, this gets it good, right? So we're going to have, I'm going to hold with my left hand first and the tubing is behind my back. My elbow is bent. I'm going to grab the tubing with my right hand behind my back. Once again, my elbow is bent. And all we do is straighten and bend. Good. That's it. Check in with that belly. Belly button pulled in. Exhale. Seven. Eight. 
We got three sets of eight. One going up is overhead press. One going down is kickbacks. We're halfway. Five, six, seven. Give me eight more and eight and seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and switch sides. All right, so now the right hand's holding the handle and the left hand is holding the tubing. It's behind the back, ready and straighten. Handle goes up, tubing goes down. Good. Exhale at the point of exertion. Here's seven. Here's our first set. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give me just eight more and eight. And seven. And six. Five. Four, three, two, oh, let's stretch it out. Hand to same shoulder this time. And that gentle pressure. And then switch sides. Woo! Bring it across body, those poor triceps. And switch. All right, so we're going to stand on our tubing for bicep curls. Maybe only one foot. I'm going to put two feet on, but you can always change that, right? Make sure the tubing um, is underneath the arch of the, your shoe so it doesn't slip out. And hopefully, you know, your tubing is fairly new, so you don't have to worry about any cracks in it, right? But you should always check for that. Here we go. Bring it up and in. Strong exhale. Belly button in. Give me four more like this. Go up slow. One, two, three. Release. One, two, three. Release. One, two, three, release. One, two, three, single counts. Give me four, three, two, one. Come down slow. So flex, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Flex, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Flex, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And flex. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Give me four single counts. And then we've got Sin's favorite. Okay, so we flex. Halfway lower. Flex all the way. Flex halfway lower. Flex all the way. Flex halfway lower. Flex all the way. Last time. Flex halfway lower. Flex all the way. Stretch it out, and a great stretch since we have walls close by, most likely. We can hold on to a door frame, a window sill, or um, just a wall. Rotate away, we get great bicep stretch. Also chest and shoulders as well, right? And then switch sides, and rotate away. And then we're going to come to our abs, grab a swig of water. And we're going to use the tubing today in our abs, at least for the beginning. So let's see. I think you're going to be able to see me. Okay, so have the tubing behind you and then put the handles in your shoes. So right the, or if you just over the ball of the foot, you can get in the arch of the foot. Awesome. And you're gonna lay down and you're gonna bring your legs up in the air. So, we're gonna do leg straddles and crunches at the same time. Once again, double whammy, right? More bang for your buck. 
hands are behind your head. I'm gonna start with my heels in, toes out. Oh, and by the way, if it's straight up in the air, 90 degrees, you know, you'll get a nice work for the legs. But boy, if you can go to 45, just getting in that position, can you feel how much more abs you're getting? So try to, try to do that, okay, if you can. Here we go, let's do a crunch up with a straddle and the heels are in, toes out. We're doing eight of those. So make sure you're tucking your chin. I'm not using my neck to lift. And in fact, if you think of lifting from the chest bone, that might help. Can we go slow? Here we go. One, two, three, zip it together. Lift, 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 lower. Two more. One, two, three, zip it. One, two, three, lower. Feet parallel, 45 degrees. Here we go, out and in. So don't let those toes spring out now. It's a different exercise, working the legs differently. And five, make sure you're pushing your head into your hands. Exhale as you lift, here's seven. Now change the tempo coming in slow. So wide, one, two, three. Lift, lower, 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 two more. Wide, one, two, three. Lift, lower, 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 here we go. Pigeon toed, here we go, lift, eight, seven. So range of motion in your legs are a lot shorter, right? Here's six, seven, eight, and it's at halfway, so it's wide, halfway in, wide, all the way, lift, lower halfway, lift, all the way, last two, wide, halfway, wide, all the way, and lift, Halfway, lift, bend your knees, take the handles off your feet, and lift up uh, the glutes and put the, the tubing to your side, and let's just get some rotation, all right? Uh, we'll have the uh, right foot on left knee, left hand behind, and my right arm out in the T. Think of the shoulder coming to that knee. Here we go, tuck the chin and rotate. Exhale, <clears throat> and three, four, five, six, seven. Bring the legs in tabletop. So you can stay here if you want. Legs straight, makes it harder automatically. Five, six, seven. And then check it out. This is tough now, only if you want to. I'm going to have my right leg up, my left leg lower. I'm going to rotate, scissor, rotate, scissor, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and give the knees a hug. Oh, lower the feet down. <clears throat> Put your leg. Right hand behind, extend the arm. Here we go, rotate, eight, seven. So as we add on, and you'd rather stay in this position, I understand. It's still a great way to isolate, it's safe way, all right? Tabletop legs, I did four like this last time, and then I immediately made it a little more challenging by straightening the legs if you wanna join me. <clears throat> and three, four, and then I lo lower the right leg, left leg is up, I'm rotating, and scissor, rotate, scissor, rotate, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, hug those knees. Woo, 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 woo. And then, I swear I usually would tell Nancy, shut off the lights, Nance, thanks. All right, we're gonna stretch it out. We'll bring the arms overhead, reach through the toes, stretch and reach, reach and stretch. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth or eventually out through the nose as we start lowering that heart rate. 
And then how about the right side only? And then left side only. And then on that diagonal, right fingertips, left toes, and switch. And then go ahead and pick up that tubing. We're going to use it for our stretch today. <clears throat> so having it in the arch of the shoe. And we're going to just think about bringing that knee in the direction of your chest without bending the knee, right? We keep try to keep it as straight as possible. And we're getting that nice hamstring stretch. And then having, it's my left leg up in the air. I'm going to have my left hand hold the tubing. My right arm is in a T and I'm going to let that left leg float out to the side. And then if you flex the foot that's on the floor, that will help anchor your pelvis and get a more effective stretch for that inner thigh, which we worked today with the tubing. And then you're gonna bring it up and now have the right hand hold the tubing, uh, left arm out in a T, and that left leg is gonna come across body. I'm gonna let the hip lift up but not my shoulder. I keep that left shoulder down, turn the head away from that leg, reach through the left fingertips. Breathe. And then bring it on up and let's switch sides. So the other foot, make sure it's in the arch of the shoe. It protects you. And then bring the knee in the direction of the chest. Wonderful stretch for our hamstring. Reach through that heel. And then let's have the right hand hold the tubing. I'm gonna have my left arm going to T so that right leg floats out, but then the leg that's on the floor, you're flexing and anchoring your pelvis. Breathe. And then bring the leg up. Other hand holds the tubing. Bring the right arm out in a T. Have your head turn away as that right leg comes across body. Find your breath. Bring that leg up. Let's release the tubing. Come on up to all fours. And just one more of that quad stretch, right? We'll bring that. Let's bring that left foot forward a step in front of those hands knee in line with ankle hips are square side body long lengthen leaning a little bit into that front leg this quad presses back tuck the cheek under add the back bend lower the arms switch sides other foot forward it's that step in front of those hands hips are square Side body long, lengthen. Lean a little bit into that front leg. Quad pressing back, tuck the cheek under. Add the back bend. Lower those arms, bring that knee back and give yourselves a great big hand, everybody. Thanks so much for coming. I sure do miss you. Stay well. Um, We'll just have to wait each week, right, and see what happens. I hope to see you next week, but I don't know if they're going to continue with the streaming classes, okay? I'll let you know. Have a good one. Love you all.